Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show how you can make a very simple Python interactive shell. Okay, so you must already be familiar with the actual Python interactive shell, which you get by just typing the Python command here on the command line prompt. So now there is an input prompt here. You just type anything and you get its value, right? So this is the thing, right? So this is the Python interactive shell. This is the real Python interactive shell. And now our motive for this video is to make another python uh, another python interactive shell by using some python code okay so let's get started so first of all um, it is pretty clear that we will be needing a an infinite loop like this right and for in each iteration of the loop I will have to take the input from the user and this is how my input prompt will look like okay and I should put some kind of break condition here right so if X is exit that is if user enters exit then in that case I will break out of the loop okay but if that is not the case then what I have to do I have to either evaluate the expression or or execute some kind of statement for example 1 plus 1 is an expression in that case I have to evaluate that expression and a is equal to 1 is kind of a statement in that case I have to execute that statement okay so for evaluating the expressions we have the eval function and for executing the statements we have exec function okay I have already discussed them in my previous videos so now let's get back to the work so now uh, first of all I will try to evaluate the expression like this okay and if the result of the evaluation is um, something which is not none in that case I will try uh, I, I would like to print that value okay so this is a thing except so if I am not able to evaluate that expression in any way let's say that expression is uh, not an expression but actually a statement in that case I would like to execute that statement okay that is a thing but now there is also one more thing here that user might write some kind of input statement which has some kind of error for example the input is 1 by 0 then in that case my whole program will crash and the user will come out of the prompt but in the actual input uh, but in the actual python interactive shell this doesn't happen because if i just try to like type 1 by 1 by 0 i get something like this but my interactive shell is still running right so to do that I'm going to do some more nesting um, I'm just going to do uh, put another try except block here it is try accept exception as e print error and and e okay so this is what I'm going to do here so this is my complete uh, python interactive shell this is a very simple one and it doesn't have many advanced capabilities but it is still pretty good in 30 lines of code so let's try to run it okay so let me just uh, move to the desktop and now let me try to run my shell.py that's a file name okay so look at that i got the input prompt right so now let me just try to type 1 plus 1 I get 2 right um, a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 and now I would like to see a plus b I get that right and now let me try 1 by 0 I simply get error division by 0 right so this is working pretty uh, fine and let me define some kind of list 1 2 3 4 so I just type a I get that list a plus equal to 5 and I get the new list right so this is how my interactive shell is working and if I just type exit I am out of that so this is a very simple implementation of a Python interactive shell and this is how you do it right so if you still have any doubts you can post them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching